hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel so today i am going to be telling you guys a story a story that explains exactly what is happening with our game right now why are we experiencing all of these crashes why are we having all the problems with dexterity and parry and the rest of the things like special attack recovery times and most importantly why it has gone on for so long and why more than likely it will take months before it goes to well relative normalcy in terms of the game now i am not willing to give up the sources of this information therefore everything and anything that i say in this video you are more than welcome to take with a grain of salt but if I personally wouldn't believe that there is a significant chance of this information being accurate, I would not be making the video in the first place. And I'm sure that there will be some people in uh, high places not so happy about this video being made. That being said, let's start at the beginning. MCUSC Game Engine. You see, Kabam does not use their own game engine. They are partnered with Unity. Unity is a cross-platform game, game engine. Uh, started in 2005, initially started uh, by Apple ENC and supported Apple exclusively and eventually moved to different platforms, which is also one of the reasons, likely, why the game runs so much better on iOS and Apple devices. Because, well... Unity engine and the Unity as such stacked out exclusively for Apple. But that being put aside, that being put aside, but we need to understand what game engine is. And in case of MCOC, it's our fighting engine. It's a platform that pieces together uh, various technical terms like your hitboxes, your dashbacks, your animation speeds, and a whole bunch of things like that that ultimately lets us to do what we do. Swipe left, swipe right, use a special attack, and it controls when the special attack lands, what's the reach of the special attack, what's the hitbox for a medium attack, and things like that. That is what Game Engine does. It lets us actually do the fighting in-game, which is the current problem with the game. And Kabam, as I mentioned before, is paying for the Game Engine to this company. However, there is additional problem because once they have paid for the game engine uh, as a company, they are able to modify a lot of settings. Now, a lot of that is intended. You can slightly amend the position or the speed of hitboxes appearing or whatever else. And you can slightly modify the length of dashbacks and things like that. And that also is a very good explanation of why we have some champions that, you know, float in there with significantly shorter dashbacks, like Dr. Voodoo, and why some champions have significantly higher reach that, I don't know, Massacre that holds a bat because his hitboxes are further on. And you can modify that kind of things. However, there are a lot of rules that you have to follow. Rules that are effectively governed by the size of the animations and plenty of other things. Now, I am no coding expert and I'm not trying to pretend to be one. I'm just trying to simplify as much of the information that I have received for you to consume. Effectively, you can modify plenty of things, but not everything can be modified with the Unity game engine. However, with, let's call it, a creative coding, Kabam has managed to find several workarounds. We can call them creative coding, we can call them duct tape solutions, or shortcuts, or whatever else you will. Effectively, they have changed plenty of aspects of Unity's base code and about the game engine uh, that are unique to them and no other games. That they are those in house duct tape creative coding solutions and 
unfortunately, when you pile them on one after another, one after another, one after another, it pushes the game engine to its limits. It turns out that Apple devices are significantly more resistant to dealing with problems like that. However, um, even they are being pushed to the limit at right now. And on Android, obviously, as we all know, situation is significantly worse. Now, good examples of these creative coding things would be champions sliding forwards three times the distance with their heavy attacks when you fight against them if they are locked on you. Or we all know several special attacks like Dormammu where it basically is coded to lock on you and then cover whatever kind of distance. Those things fall into this category where AI seems to be governed by different rules. Like we have the time when AI was throwing special attacks as you were hitting its combo. Things like that are the result of this creative coding. Needless to say, this creative coding introduces obviously a lot of unintended interactions, bugs, glitches, and well, in general, just completely overwhelms the game engine and the device that is trying to run this modified code on that game engine. That would be our phones. So Kabam has managed to accumulate a significant amount of this creative code to a point when the Unity game engine barely resembles its original state. And that is effectively what is causing all the devices to crash. And with one of the latest game engine updates, it turns out that it isn't as tolerant to this creative coding. Uh, as the previous ones, and that is effectively causing all our dexterity, party timing issues, so on and so forth. To put it in a limit, uh, in words as simple as possible, we can imagine that Unity is a car dealership, and Kabam has bought a BMW from them. What Kabam is doing, they are walking around, let's say, all the back street shops, and putting all sorts of modifications on that BMW. They put in NOS, they put in, I don't know, new brakes, better tires, whatever. Turbo charge it to the max, chip it out. Basically, they make a street car, street racing car out of a stock BMW. And what they also done, subsequently later on now, is blow the engine of that BMW. And here is the problem. Why? we will not likely have the game fixed for a significant amount of time and why it has taken them so long. Problem is because Kabam has taken their busted BMW engine back to the dealership and is asking Unity to help and fix it. Unity effectively has told Kabam to jog on. They're not going to help with that because they're not responsible for it. And that's hardly even, you know, the product that they sold at this point. And Kabam has to do all of the fixing in-house. So that would be equivalent of a middle-aged balding man trying to figure out um, how to fix a car engine in his garage without help from professionals. Okay, that's too hard. But basically, it's on them how to fix it, whether they get some additional coding support that have experience with Unity engines or however they do it. But Unity is not doing it for them. And that unfortunately means that it will take significantly longer time than it could if Unity would have tolerated Kabam abusing the game engine the way they are. In this situation, obviously, you can't really be upset at Unity as a company or as an entity. But at the same time, it's not good news. You can definitely be upset with Kabam, though. But I'll let you guys do that part. So, that, like, once again, too long, didn't read or didn't focus version of this video is that Kabam buys the game engine from Unity. 
and they do a lot of creative coding on it to bend the rules of these interactions to allow champions to slide further if they are locked on you or you know to launch special attacks when they shouldn't or wouldn't be able to do and things like that uh, and that effectively has uh, blown out the engine and because of all of these creative coding related issues unity is refusing to fix it for kabam so kabam has to do it themselves so it's probably going to take quite a while and again i will not name the source of this information because uh rather not but at the same time i did find it important to talk about it because kabam isn't telling us anything kabam isn't saying us absolutely a thing aside from the fact that they are upset and that they are being affected more than anybody else well then here we go that is the story of current game problems as far as i'm aware of it let me know what you guys think and you know if you found this video interesting or useful hit that like button ain't gonna cost you a penny so yeah Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about